In this example, we have 0 0.14 times 6.9. So to start our long multiplication, let's start with our setup. We are going to have our first number of 0 0.14 on top, and then multiplied by our second number on the bottom. Now we are going to take our first digit on the bottom of 9 and multiply it by every digit on top. So we'll start with 9 by 4, which gives us 36. So we split the 36 up, bring our 6 down here, and then carry the 3 to the next column. Now we have 9 times 1, which gives us 9, and then 9 plus the 3 that we carried gives us 12. So we bring the 12 down here, and then carry the 1 up to the next column. Now we have 9 times 0, which gives us 0, but 0 plus the 1 that we carried gives us 1. So we write the 1 down here. Now we're done with this 9, this 3, and this 1, and we're going to move on to the 6. But because we're moving on to our next digit, we can either leave a space right below here, or we can just draw a 0, whatever way works for you. So now we're going to multiply this 6 by every digit on top. So we have 6 times 4, which gives us 24. So we bring our 4 down here, and then carry the 2 to the next column. And then we have 6 times 1, which gives us 6, and then 6 plus the 2 that we carried gives us 8. So we'll write the 8 down here. And now we have 6 times 0, which just leaves us with 0. Next, we want to add up these two rows of digits down below. So we have 6 plus 0 gives us 6, 2 plus 4 gives us 6, 1 plus 8 gives us 9, and then nothing plus 0 gives us 0. Now that we have all our digits in our final answer, we have to worry about our decimal. So we count up how many digits are after the decimal in our multiplication problem. In 0 0.14, we have two digits after the decimal, and then in 6.9, we have one digit after the decimal. So 2 plus 1 means we're going to have three digits after our decimal in our final answer. So if our decimal starts here, we're going to move it over once, then twice, then the third time, to leave our decimal right before the 9. So our answer of 0 0.14 times 6.9 is 0 0.966.